Dedud, the incense giver. This is a very important deity, if not among the most well known, he was very significant for this time and this era of early civilizations. This was a, 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 a figure who was classified as a god or a netter and was associated with incense, but also ritual, trade, and ultimately wealth. This was at a time when this was among the most important trade commodities, a true luxury for this world. As a deity, he is a product of the cultures of Kemet, Egypt, and what we would call Nubia. And he was symbolized not only by the lion, but also the coin, which showed again his connection to commerce and the generation of wealth, which was very important. He is attested to in a pyramid text from various uh, eras, from the second all the way up to the 25th dynasty. And although it was a relatively minor deity, he was venerated from early on in the history, from approximately 2400 BCE. And he is linked through prosperity, and it is said that he brings both the people and the riches to the southern land. And his connection to incense is really a reflection of his connection to trade and the establishment of early commerce. At this point, historically, incense was at a high in terms of extremely expensive luxury commodity and being a product of Nubia, who they were the source of much of this. So he was a, a very important deity and he was looked to for those who wanted to make sure that trade stayed uh, aggressive and that people were exploring new trade routes. And the wealth that trade from incense delivered to Nubia only ele elevated his position and the focus on him being a god particularly of prosperity and then later he would be known more for the idea of being associated with wealth. And he became deified by traitors as well who burned incense in his honor that he might protect them on their journeys. Again, this is early in the establishment of some of the most significant trade routes at that time and early on they were unguarded, they lacked the protection. So they turned to the deity to give them protection, to protect trade itself. He is typically portrayed as a young man, but he may also take the form of a lion. And during the Middle Kingdom, it is said that Egyptians thought him to be the protector of the deceased Nubian rulers and their god of incense. And that association made him a deity associated with funerary texts. It is known that a Kushite king in Nubia developed a temple dedicated to a synchronized version of Osiris and Dedan at the Jub at Jubel Barkal. So this is a deity who has shown veneration for an extremely long time, early, early in the establishment of these civilizations, and the idea of venerating a deity at commerce, particularly trade, was not uncommon for people at that time and showed the importance that they placed on being able to trade for goods and services and how it was essential not only to the development of their civilization, but would be central to allowing them to develop into more advanced societies and have time for leisure such as writing and artwork. Thank you again for stopping at Nine World Chronicles. We will explore more of the connections, particularly between this deity and other representations of trade or commerce deities. As always, we ask that you like and subscribe.